Share, listen to Alore Radio on Facebook. Alore Radio, the voice of all your state. Gagabi woye, a won moye, toni oye, boti ye, ki la ni tweko, toto bang ba su la yori gan lo de oni, ya to fan wele bawa wa, tulu gboro ba, lori le de ye lo wa lo wa ba yi, e sin ton si wa ywa unre, hi le we monak model college challenge, ni badon, a won jombo ni man, ne ba roi la ni tweko, ni le ye ati lo ki okin, lo kura jopo si be, a won si vila, la won ilo ike kwa ikba lo de to sonu si be, ha yika ile wwa unre wa, wupo, wupo, eron CCTV camera mbe ni ya ra yika we, pelu a ke kompure te ni klasi kokan, a won ilo, ere i dara ya to kujo wa wo man le lo lori shiri awon ko se mo se oruko to koju osun won ni nko mo lodo wa yara iko iko imajile science to so won ni le yi gba komo kan computer kan ni be loko be tin ka won akeko wa laaro lo san lojojumo pelu owo lewe ti ogun parara ayo ni lewe yi je fun gbogbo bi atalagbato eto igbani wo le lo lowo bayi o se ka ti gss 123 ati ti ss 122 monarch model college one in plot 86 and 87 polani wall street police post challenge ibadan 08169799661 website www.monarchmodelcollege.org monarch model college ni badan Welcome to Monarch Model College, a community of kings and queens. We are located at Port 86 and 87, Bolaniwa Street, at the back of Equa Church, Challenge Area, Ibadan. You are welcome to our Teaching on Air episode for this week. You are all welcome to Mathematics class today. <laughs> We are going to be looking at a very interesting and beautiful topic. This is a topic which we, are, uh, we encounter in our day-to-day -day activities. The topic remains none other than sex. Before we proceed, we would like to know what a sex is. A sex simply means a collection of distinct objects, things or numbers. An example of a set which we all as students are familiar with is a, a mathematical set. A mathematical set is a universal set that has many elements in it. We have so many elements embedded in the uh, mathematical set. Example are, we have the meter rule, we have the set square, we have the compass, we have the divider, the eraser and um, either the blade to sharpen the pencil or whatever. So we proceed to the next line, which is the object that constitutes a set are called what elements or members. Each of those elements inside a mathematical set are called what element. That is to say that the meter rule, the um, set square. The compass, the divider are called what elements of the set, mathematical word set. We can write the statement X is an element of what capital letter X as what X is contained in X. What this simply means is that the meter rule is contained in what a mathematical word set. I will represent contained as what that symbol on the board. A set can be specified in three basic ways. Number one, by enlisting all its elements. Number two, by proper description of its members. And number three, by the use of a brass. There's a difference between a brass and a bracket. Sets are usually represented by brass which means this. This is called brass. Why this is called what? Bracket. Sets are not to be represented this way. Sets are only to be represented this way, which is what? Brass. Now we'll move to an example. Number one, we have that P is equal to, we open our brass, 1,3,5, 7, 9, and we close the brass. Is the set which contains odd numbers between 1 and what? 10. What this simply means is that that particular set, the name is what? Odd numbers from 1 to what? To 10. What this means, we have it that P is equal to, you open your brass, 1, 3, 5, 
7 and what? We have 9. Every element has to be represented this way. We separate an element from the next by what? By using a comma. But in the last element, there is no word comma in the last element. That's why we could notice that here that this set P is made up of what? How many elements? One, two, three, four, five. It's made up of what? Five elements. And each of the elements are separated from the next by what? A comma. We move to terms used in sets. There are various terms that are used in sets. We move to the first one, which is subset. A subset, this is where this is given two sets, given two sets A and B. If every set in A is an element of what B, then A is called what the subset of what B. To practice this, this is what it means. If we have set A to be equal to, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and um, 10. This is um, set A. I will now have set B to be the even numbers between 1 to what? To 10. The element will be what? We are going to have it as 2, 4, 6, 8, and um, 10. So if you observe closely, you will notice that all the elements in B are in what? A. Therefore, B is a subset of what? A. Because it is taken out of what? A. All the elements in B are in A. Therefore, once it is taken out of A, it becomes a subset of what? A. We can conclude here that B is a subset of what? A. Bringing it down to our environment presently, we will notice that in Monarch Model College, the word Monarch Model College becomes what? The universal word set, which is what? A name of what? A school. And in the um, universal set, we have so many subsets under it. Example, we can list the teachers as part of the element of the subset Monarch Model College. We also have each of the classes, which is from GSS1 to SS3, as another subset of the universal set Monarch Model College. Now, bringing it, restricting it to SS1. Now you will notice that this is what a subset of what the student in what Monarch Model College. Because this is not a general or all the students in Monarch Model College, but just what? An extraction from the universal world set. That is to say, SS1 now is what a subset of the student in the universal set Monarch Model College. I hope that is clear. Yes, sir. So let's move to another. Before we move to that, to the second one, let's give another example of a subset. We know that Nigeria as a country is a universal set. And we have so many subsets in Nigeria, let's restrict it to the word the governors. Each state in Nigeria has what a governor. Therefore, if we are to take the universal set as what? The um, governors in Nigeria. Therefore, the subset will be what? The names of each governors in each of what? The state. Example, Shei Makinde will be what? An element of what? The universal set. Because it becomes an element of the subset which is in what? In the universal set. We move to the second term that are used in sets, which is equality of sets. Two sets, A and B, are equal. If and only if all the elements in A are contained in what B. Demonstrating this on the board, we'll argue that 
if we have set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. If we look at this, how many elements do this set have? Four elements. And we have set B as, we open our brass, 2, 1, 3, and 4. You will notice that set A is equal to what set B. You will observe that set A is equal to set B because all the elements in A is equal to all the elements in B. Despite that they are not properly what arranged. But you will observe that all the elements in set A is also in what in set B. Therefore, we can say that set A is equal to what set B. That is the meaning of that. That is set A is equal to what set B. Equality of a set is denoted or represented by what an equal to sign. Therefore, set A is equal to set B because all the elements in A is contained in what in B. We we'll move to the third term that is used in sets. That is universal sets. The sets from which all other sets under consideration in a problem are drawn from is called what the universal set. What this means is that a set from which all other um, problems under consideration are drawn from is called what the universal set and is denoted by what mu. Mu is written this way. This means mu or you can write it this way as a um, mu. These two represent what? Universal set. As I said, a universal set is what? A set from which all other sets under that particular question is being drawn from. Example, we have it as a universal set is equal to integers from 1 to what? 10. If you have integers from 1 to 10, that means you are going to write 1, 2, 3 to what? To 10. Then we can represent this as a universal set is equal to, we open the brass, 1, 2, 3, then we continue to show that it is continuous. We put 3 dots to show that it is, it is a continuous thing and we now put where it ends, which is what? 10. What this means is that our universal set is from what? 1, 2, 3, till what? 10. Now, once we are able to draw out other sets from this universal set, then it is referred to as what? A subset. Example, if we have this that our set A is equal to odd numbers, from 1 to what? 10. If we are dealing with what? Odd numbers from 1 to 10. This will give us odd numbers. First and foremost, what is the odd number? Yes? Okay, what is odd number? An odd number is a number that cannot be divisible by 2. From 1 to 10, we are going to have it as what? The element in the set will be what? What will be the first element? We are going to have it as one. The next will be what? Three. The next? Five. We have five, followed by seven, and lastly, nine. These are the odd numbers from what? One to what? To ten. Then, let's say we have set B to be equal to even numbers. from 1 to what? 10. Now, Malik, what is even numbers? Even numbers are numbers that can be divided by 2 without the remainder. Numbers that are divisible by what? 2. Now, if you are to list out the elements of this set, what are we going to have? We are going to have it that our set B 
is equal to what? We open our brass, don't forget that. Then the first element will be what? Two. The next will be four. The next, six. And what? Eight. Finally, ten. So these are what? The elements of this set B. Take note that set A and set B are drawn or extracted from the universal set, which is what? Integers from what? 1 to 10. We move to the next term that I use in set, which is complement of set. Complement of set, com the complement of a set is the set which consists of all the elements in the universal set, but not in A. Bringing it down to this class, we know this class is what? SS1. Now this is a class in what? Monarch Model College. We have many other students that are not in what? Monarch Model College. Now if you are to list other classes that are not SS1, the complement of SS1 now will be what? We are going to have GSS1, GSS2, GSS3, SS2, SS3. SS1 will not be what included because we are talking of what complement. What is in the universal set but not in the set under what consideration? Example. Let's take an example on that. Don't forget this. The complement is denoted as what a prime. Therefore, if you have something like the universal set is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we have that set A is equal to, we have it this way as 2, 4, 6, 8. We are now asked to find A complement. A complement simply means what is in the universal set, but not in what A. You list out all the elements in the universal set, but not in what A. Therefore, the first element in this answer will be what? One. We are going to have one. The next will be what? Three. We have three. The next will be what? Five. 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 Seven. 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 Nine. 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 We also have ten. Then you close the brass. Is that clear? Yes. So this is what complement. It simply means what is in the universal set, but not in the set under what consideration. Is that clear? Now we we'll move to the next, which is what cardinality of set. The cardinality of a set. This is the number that indicates the number of elements in a set. Is called what cardinality. The number in a given set is called what? Cardinality of what a set. What this simply means, you count the number in the, the element in the set one by one. That is what the cardinality of what the set. Now let's take an example of that. Now if you are asked, what is the cardinality? It is denoted or represented this way. Cardinality of the universal set. This is the meaning of cardinality. It means the number of elements in the universal set. There will be a N in front of what the set you are being asked. In this case, we are given what? N, open bracket what? Universal set, interpreted as what? The number of elements in the universal set. You physically count them one by one. Then, let's count. We have it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You notice the cardinality of this set is what? Ten. You get that? Cardinality of a set simply means the number of elements in the given set. Now, I will need someone to give me this. If set A is equal to, I have A, B, C, D, and um, J. 
and I'm asked A that you find the cardinality of A. What will be the cardinality of this set? Who can help me with that? Indicate the yeah, five. five elements, yes. Yeah. Which is one, two, three, four, and what? Five. So the cardinality of this element is what? Five. Now let's move to the next slide. It is called unit or singleton set, as the name implies. This is what a set with only one word element. Once a set has only one element, it is referred to as what? A single set or what? A unit set. Example is, if we have A is equal to, let's say, letter M. You see that it has only one word, element. This set A has just what? One element. Now we move to the operation of sets. Firstly, we have the intersection of sets. Secondly, we have the union of sets. And thirdly, we have the complement of sets. These are the three basic operations of sets. And set is divided into two aspects, which is the first part, which is what we are about to look at, and the second part is what the Venn diagram. This will lead us to what Venn diagram. We are not up to that point yet. Now let's pick the first part of it, which is intersection of what set. Intersection of set. This is what set A and B consist of those elements which belongs to A and also what to B. Intersection simply means the number of elements that belongs to A and also what to B. Now let's take a practical example of this. If we have set A to be equal to A, B, C, and D, and I have set B to be equal to, I have B, E, F, and um, let me say C. Now, these are the, the elements in A are what? A, B, C, and D. And the elements in B are what? B, E, F, and C. Therefore, we are asked now to find A intersection B. Now, this is the way we represent intersection. Intersection simply means you should list out the element that is in A and also in what? In B. Now, bringing this element out, you will not notice that in A, we have B is in A and B is also in what? B. Therefore, what the solution now is going to be A intersection B is equal to, we open the brass. <coughs> now, what we are looking for now is what is common between the two sets. You will observe that the first element that is common is what? B. So we we'll bring out B. The next element that is common is also what? C. So we we'll bring it out. Therefore, A intersection B is what? B and what? C. And if you are asked the number of elements, which is what? The cardinality of this element, A intersection B, the cardinality will be what? Two. Because it has how many elements? Two elements. I hope that is clear. Now let's take the next example. We'll return to number two. Previous. So if we have this as the next example now, If we have a question like this, as A is equal to, we have 2, 3, 4, 5. And we are giving B is equal to, we have 2, 3, and um, 4. The question I say we should find what? A intersection B. From here, Recall that A intersection B simply means what? The elements that are common to both what sets. Looking at this, 
The elements in A are what? 2, 3, 4, and 5. While the elements in B are what? 2, 3, and 4. Therefore, we are first of all write a solution to show that we are about to solve this. Solution A intersection B will give us what? What do we have here? The first element will be what? Two. We have it as two. The next element will be what? Three. Three. And is there any other element that is common? Yes. Which is what? Four. Four. And that is the complete solution. So the uh, we have here that A intersection B will give us what? Two, three, and what? Four. Let's proceed to the next round. Now we have example three on the board. So on the slide we have that if P is equal to, we are given the question as A, B, C, D. And we have Q as B, R, S. Now we are asked to find P intersection what Q. Our P intersection Q here is what the element that are in P and also in what Q. That is the element that are common to both what set. First and foremost, we write what solution. Then solving this, we have it as a P intersection Q is equal to what is the uh, first element that is common to both sets? B. We have it as B. Is there any other element that is common? No. no. You will observe that only B is common, therefore we close our brackets. Now if you are asked, what type of set is this? Okay, Victor, what is the name of this set? No set. Set. Because it has only one word, element. Now we move to example four. We are given that x is equal to one, two, three, two, what, five. And we are also given y to be equal to six. 7, 8. Now we are asked to find x intersection y. Now solution. We are going to do this as a group together. The question says we should look for what? x intersection y. Therefore we are going to have that x intersection y is equal to, we open our brass, now, we'll, let's say the answer together. The first element that is common, is there anything that is common? No. You will observe that X and Y, there is no element that is what? Common. Therefore, A intersection, Y will be what? No element. Is that clear? We are going to cover that as what? And it will, without an element, we'll leave it open. Now, who can tell me the name of this set? What is the name of this set, Angela? This set or a what? A null set. That means this set has no what? Element. We move to the next operation of sets. And that is called the union of a set A and set B consists of those elements belonging to set A or B or both and it is what denoted as what a union what b now this is how we write that we write it as what a union what b which means what a union b it simply means we should list out all the elements in a and all the elements in b without repeating any element twice. Exactly. That is the meaning of what union of a set. Without wasting much of our time, let's move straight to example five. If we have that um, 
if a is equal to that is set a is giving us one three five and six and we have set b is giving us three five seven and eight now the question has to find a union b remember i said that A union B means what? List all the elements in A and all the elements in B without repeating what? Any element twice. Now if we are going to do this, our solution, we have that A union B will be equal to, the first element here will give us what? One. Then, and is advisable. If you are listing the elements, list them either alphabetically or the way they occur naturally, if it is a natural counting number. You are expected to write one before what? Writing five. You cannot write five before writing one. That is not well arranged. Therefore, and also alphabetically, you cannot write Z before writing A. A must always come first before what? Z. Now, going back to this question, we have it that the first element will be 1, the next will be what? 3, the next element on the board will be what? 5. After 5, the next element is what? 6. After 6, we have what? 7. And lastly, 8. You will notice that 5 and 3 repeat itself. But in the course of bringing out our answer, we did not repeat those elements twice. But we write the element just what once. Remember the definition. A union B simply means list out all the elements in A and all the elements in B without repeating what any element what twice. I hope that is clear. Now let's move to example 6. Example 6 on the board. We have it that if we are given that E set E is equal to 2, 4, 6, and 8. And we are given set F as 2, 5, 9, 11, and 12. We are now asked to look for what? To find E union what F. We are asked to find E union what F. I want one of you to indicate and um, solve this for me. Now we are going to have E union F will be what? I need one of you to indicate that, okay? Two, that is very correct. Four. The next element will be four, perfectly correct. Five. We have the next as five, six. we have six, eight. we have eight, nine. we have nine, nine. eleven, 12. and twelve. That is perfectly correct. This is, we have it that E union F is what? Two, four, five, six, eight, nine, eleven, and what? Twelve. Take note that in our course of representing our answer, we differentiate each of the elements by what? A comma. And at the end, there is always no word comma at the end of it. Let's move to the next, next slide. Now, we move to the word, the cardinality of each of the following. We want to find or to determine the cardinality of the following. Remember, I said cardinality means what? The number of elements in a what a given set. Looking at that, we we'll observe that we have I, which is set E. Set E is um, U, V, W, X, Y, and what Z. Now, if we look at that, how many elements do we have there? That will give us how many? Six elements. Therefore, the cardinality of the set is what? Six. Now, the cardinality of a set simply means the number of elements in that word set.
answered. Our answer for E will be what? 6. Y for M, the number of elements here is what? 4. You notice that it is what? 4. Y for G, the number of elements in the set, let you observe, the number of elements in the set is, you have it, it is grouped in brackets. Are you with me? It is not 6. Remember, we separate each of the elements by what? A comma. Now, let me do that. So, our G is equal to, we open the bracket. We have it as open bracket A comma what? B, close bracket comma. We have what? C comma D in bracket. And we have finally E comma what? F. All in words in bracket. Now look at this. You will notice that each of these elements are words in a bracket. And inside the bracket, we now have words a comma. Is that clear? Now, each of the brackets, we have a comma. That means this element here has what? Three word element. The cardinality of this element is what? Three. Each of them has what? A dual word element. Is that clear? Each of the elements is what dual, which is two. That means the element here is what the cardinality of this element is what three. I hope that is clear. Now we move next to a combination of what union and complement. This is a combination of what union of a set and complement. We are giving the universal set to be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we are given that our, LM, our set P is equal to what? 1, 2, 4, 6, and what? 10. And we are given that our set Q is equal to what? We have 2, 3, Six and what nine. Now the question I say that we should show that. We are about to prove or show that our P union what Q all prime is equal to what? P prime intersection what? Q prime. Now let's of all treat our left hand side. This is called the left hand side of the equation. Why this is called the right hand side of the equation. Now let's undo the left hand side. Now picking the left hand side, you are going to have P union Q all world prime. P union Q all prime, first and foremost, we know from bit mass. Bit mass, we know that brackets come first, therefore we are going to treat the bracket word first. If we apply that, we are going to have P union word Q. That's what we are going to have first. From this question, our P union Q simply means list all the elements in P and all the elements in word Q without repeating any element word twice. If we are to do that, our P union Q now will be what? What are the elements? One. We have one. The next is what? Two. We have two. The next element is three. what? We have three. The next? Four. We have four. The next element? Six. We have six. Next? Nine. We have nine. And lastly, ten. we have ten. This is what P union what? Q. Now, take note, we've not answered this question yet. Therefore, the next thing to do now is to look for what? P union Q, all world prime. Is that clear? Once you look for P union Q, all prime, then you'll be able to get answer for what? Your left hand side. Now, if we are going to do that, it will give us what? P union what? Q, all prime will be equal to, remember, don't forget, P union Q all prime means list all the elements in the universal set, but not in what? P union what? Q. 
Now let's use a uh, cancellation method to do that. We'll notice that we have the first element here is what? One. Therefore, we cancel what? One. Can you see that? The next element is what? Two. We cancel two. Do you get that? The next element is what? Three. We cancel three. The next is four. We cancel four. We have five. There is no five. Therefore, the first element here is what? Five. Do you get that? Now we check. We have six. We cancel six. There is no seven. The next element is what? Seven. seven. Now we have what? Eight. There is eight here. There is no eight. The next element is what? Eight. Do you get that? We have nine here. We cancel nine. There is ten. We cancel ten. Is that clear? So we cancel that. Therefore, P union Q or prime is what? Five, seven, and what? Eight. That is our answer. This is now our left hand side. You get that? Now let's undo the right hand side. Now let's take the right hand side. We have here for the right hand side. What do we have? The question says what? P prime intersection what? Q prime. In this case, we take each of them one by one. We first of all treat P prime and then we add the word Q prime. Now, let's take what P prime. Who can tell me the meaning of P prime? Is there anyone? What is in the universal set, but not in what P? That is perfectly what? Correct. Now, let's get our answer for P prime now. Let's look at the board together now. This is what? This is our P. Now we want to get the P prime. What is in the universal set, but not in what P? So we have one is here, one is here. We are not going to record that. Then we have two is here, two is here. The first element will be what? Three. So we have the first element as three. We have four, so we are not writing four. There is no five. The next element is what? Five. We have six, therefore we are not recording it. The next is what? Seven. We record seven. There is no eight. We record eight. And there is no nine. We record nine. As there is ten, therefore we cannot record what? Ten. We we'll stop our solution here. Therefore, P prime is what? Three comma five comma seven comma eight comma nine. Now, let's proceed by getting what? Q prime. Q prime simply means the element that are in what universal set, but not in what Q. Now let's list out the elements. The first element will be what? One. The next will be what? Four. Then we have what? Five. We have seven. Eight. And what? Ten. This is what? Q prime. Therefore, let's look for what? P prime. Intersection what Q prime. Our P prime intersection Q prime, who can help us with this? Who can give us the intersection of P prime? Intersection means the element that is common in P and also common in what Q. What is common in both of them? You will notice that 5 is the first element. Therefore, our answer will be what? 5. The next element is what? We have 7. And the last is what? 8. So these are what the element that is common in what P, P prime intersection what Q prime. You will now notice that our right, left hand side is equal to what our right hand side, and that is the meaning of a proof. If you have to prove, what you are asked show that. What it simply means is that make sure that your left hand side is equal to what your right hand side. In this case. Our left hand side is what? Um, 5 comma what? 7 comma 8. Why our right hand side will give us what? 5 comma 7 comma 8. Therefore, we, we, we have shown that what? P union Q or prime is equal to what? P prime intersection Q prime.
I hope this is clear yes, and it is well explained. Now, relative complement, given to sets A and B, the set which consists of those elements that are in A but not in B is called the relative complement of B in A and is denoted in three different formats. Firstly, we have it as um, You can represent it this way as A minus B. Also, we can also represent it as A slash B. And thirdly, we can represent it as A intersection B prime. These are the three ways of representing relative complements. Number one, you represent it as what? A minus B. Number two, A slash B. And number three, a intersection B, all what prime. Now we have this as example 13, which is we are given that A is equal to, we are given the set 5, the element as 5, 6, and 7. And we are given set B as 5. 6, 8, and 9. Now the question I say which you find I A minus B. I I we are asked to find what B minus A. What this simply means? Now for it to be easy for you, take note of this. What this simply means is that A minus B simply means if you write out the element that are in A, but not in what? B. So you can write this as element in A, but not in B. Now, if you are to do this, you are now going to have it as solution. We have it that our I will give us A minus what? B. Which simply means, looking at the board, our A set A is what? 5, 6, 7. Why set B is what? 5, 6, 8, and what? 9. Now, I want someone to list for me the element that will give us what? A minus B. A minus B will be equal to what? Okay. okay. Now, can someone give me the answer for this? Okay, Angela. I have here a 7, that will be what? Only 7. That is, you will notice that 5 and 6 are in what? B. The only element that is in A but not in B is what? 7. I hope that is clear. Now, the relative complement of what? A and B is what? 7. Now, let's get our II. Our I, I, Gabriel, help me with the answer. We have it as what? 8 and 9. That is perfectly correct. Now, this is that about uh, the first part of set. We are supposed to look at Venn diagram, but in our next class, we'll be looking at Venn diagram, and in, we are going to interpret all what we've done so far using what? Venn diagram. We are going to stop the class here. I will send you your assignments via your WhatsApp page. You will get your assignments via your WhatsApp page. Then we will continue the next class from there. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining us for this week. Have a pleasant week ahead. See you next time. Oh yes, your long-awaited Citadel of True Education for the Rare Gems Monarch Model College Challenge He Badana. Intelligence with good character makes up the real goal of true education. Parent and guidance connect your child to the arena of kings and queens where quality and sound education is undoubtedly available. It's a government-approved school that stands tall, among others, with the best and globally acceptable standard of teaching. Beautiful and hygienic learning environment, professional subject teachers, well-ventilated classrooms with small class size, hot more than 
Science Laboratory, Standard Music Lab, Standard Computer Laboratory, Maximum Security with CCTV surveillance. School buses are also available. Hall with affordable school fees. Admission is ongoing into GSS 123 and SS 122 classes. Application forms are available at Monarch Model College, Plot 8687, Polariwa Street, behind Echo Church, Police Post, Challenge E Button. 0097996661. Website www.monarchmodelcollege.org. Monarch Model College, a community a of kings and queens. And queens. And queens. Share, listen to Alore Radio on Facebook. Alore Radio, the voice of all your state.